we developed a kind of a working liberalism in the 20th century where there was a kind of a balance between the, the, the left and the right. And then something happened in the internet age, something happened so that that complicated machinery and all the pulleys and levers, you know, it's like if, they, if this system evolved over centuries and all of a sudden, you know, you throw sand in it or you throw oil in it or, you know, you change the gravitational constant of the universe and everything works differently. That's what I felt happened in 2014. Something changed in the universe in 2014. And I've been trying to figure it out ever since. And I feel like I finally got a full statement of it. Like I think I've done my best job in this Atlantic article. I think I finally figured out how it is that social media changed things so that everything is getting stupid. Take us through that process in the arrival of social media. I mean, I lived this, obviously. We, we, we both lived it. We were in our, yeah, yeah. We, we was our, in our prime life. This happened. I loved it to begin with. I thought it was oh, the yeah. most amazing thing imaginable it's for a writer to reach readers without an editor or a publisher was incredibly liberating and so i jumped in very early and mm -hmm. have continued since and there was a period i think in the early 2000s when the blogosphere began to grow yeah. where there was genuine actual substantive intellectual argument and sharing of ideas we had certain yeah, again was, we had certain liberal democratic principles so for example <clears throat> if you want to disagree with someone you always link to it so the person can read the other ar ar argument compare yeah. it to yours and make it their own judgment that was liberalism in it you know it was and it, really and, was. it was a, yeah and the yeah. dish which we did we, we included dissents all the time we kind of made this an open conversation because in fact the internet could sustain what we thought was a really interesting conversation yeah but then once Facebook and then fatally Twitter came yes. in and everybody became one of these. And then right. it began to, first of all, it sped up in ways that seem mm -hmm. impossible to slow down. Mm -hmm. And then it, 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 it adopted all these, these very liberal characteristics. Yes. Explain, explain to me, yeah. give, us a, give us a quick tour d'horizon, as it were, of, of the worst practices of this that were encouraged and of course designed yeah. made well, let me, designed yeah. to increase engagement right well rather yeah so let me let me tell it more as a as a, as a story or as a, as a narrative because the thing you have to keep separate in your mind is there's the internet which was is one of the most magnificent things in all of human creation and you know you and i remember the awe i mean even in the early internet before you had a browser like you know you could just i mean it, it was unbelievable that you could just pop up somewhere else or gopher i think was the first uh, you know system whatever it was called um, i was in aol chat rooms before i should ever have been in aol chat rooms but but <laughs> leave that yeah. aside okay so so there's the internet and then there's the smartphone which is the most incredible Swiss army knife ever. And I love my iPhone and it does so much uh, good, so many good things for me. And then there's social media. And, you know, if you think about these three things separately, you can say, well, the internet obviously is magnificent and is changing the world and it links people together and connecting people has, is generally a good thing. And, you know, the iPhone is this amazing tool and giving people tools that they can hail a taxi, order food, look up the weather, is a good thing. And then there's social media, which is very different because and here's the key thing. It didn't just connect people and it didn't just give people voice. Connecting people is like telephone call. You can talk to someone directly. Now, you and I, we're talking to each other directly, although we're both aware that th this is a conversation that will be broadcast. But, you know, we, we've met before. You know, we respect each other's work. We're, we're talking to each other. But what social media did, I think, beginning in 2004, but with a huge change in 2009, is it connected people in, in a way that encouraged not communication, but performance. And if you are trying to manage your brand, if you are talking at someone for the purpose of trying to get reactions from others, now it's inauthentic, it's performative. And then the big change, and this is at the heart of the article, the big change is when uh, Facebook adds the like button in 2009 and Twitter copies it. And Twitter adds the, the retweet button also in 2009 and Facebook copies it with the share button. This is the key transformation. 